we are going to show you a Rion acoustical capacity meter. This meter is a remarkable development for measuring engine cavity capacities. It provides a very efficient method of doing the job. The conventional method of measuring engine capacity involves pouring liquid into a cavity, removing it and then measuring the amount of liquid. This is known as the Biorette method. However, it takes about an hour to measure four cylinders and afterwards the mechanism needs drying out. It can be troublesome and needs technical know-how. By using a Rion acoustical capacity meter you can quickly use sound waves to measure engine cavities. Regardless of shape, combustion chamber capacities can be measured by placing the meter on top of the cavities in the cylinder head. During engine manufacturing or maintenance measurements can be made in just two seconds in dry conditions. Only two seconds. Most Japanese vehicle engine makers are interested in this and have started using it. In addition, the VM230A model can measure a fully assembled engine. It uses the same sound measurement principles but with a special adapter that screws into a spark plug socket. Let's move on to a VM240A demonstration. We calibrate before doing a measurement. We use three capacity reference containers for the calibrations. These capacity values are needed for the calibration. Click here to bring up the calibration window. Enter the value of capacity reference container number 1. Enter the value of capacity reference container number 2. Enter the value of capacity reference container number 3. Inputting is done. One, two, three. Now to do the three calibrations. First calibration. Starting. OK, done. Second calibration. Starting. OK, done. Third calibration. Starting. OK, done. Check the calibration differences and do it again. We call this a calibration confirmation. First, OK. Second, OK. Third, OK. Then all the calibrations are done. Now let's measure the target engine capacity. Put it on here. The measurement starts.
the result comes out. This is the result. Let's try it again. The measurement starts, the result comes out. I've been doing each measurement manually, but automatically repeating sequential measurements can also be done. The number of repeats can be set from 1 to 20 times. I set the repeat time to automatically do 10 repeats. The measurement starts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The results for ten sequential measurements. This is an average. As you can see, measurements are done very quickly. That's the end of the demonstration. Thank you.